Yo, what's going on guys? So, you guys see the title? I wanted to go over, full overview, you know? Let you guys know about my 87 Toyota Supra. Um, I this car for a pretty good deal, man. And um, part of me can't believe I even got it, you know? It's a crazy good deal. So, starting with, you know, the paint. I'm pretty, pretty sure this is a 3H code car. I'm not sure if it's red mica or the regular maroon. There's a few different variations of it, I know. And um, the first maroon Supers were in 86. This is an 87, at least that's what the title and the VIN indicate. Um, clean title car, never been in an accident, never, you know, no, nothing reported. Um, it's still on stock suspension stuff. Um, it came with the adjustable um, suspension from the factory. It's like the sport right there in the middle there. It's like a sport normal modes. Um, not really, uh, people have said that they're really biggest fans of the uh, suspension. But that's, that's I'm gonna change that anyways. Um, but full interior car. I'll show you guys in here first. Full interior car. Came with the aftermarket steering wheel, so it's five speed W58. Um, yeah, everything's in there. It's came with the rear seats, all the hatches are up up there. The trunk for you, real quick. As far as I know, everything works on it. When I did check the lights when I first bought it, I was with a, a buddy of mine, and he was telling me how the lights work. So, pretty much came with everything. All the carpet and stuff, all the interior pieces. Um, came with the spare tire as well. This vintage Toyota tool bag. Um, he gave me an extra fan with it. I'm not really sure if I'll need that. But uh, everything's in there. It's <laughs> Some of the buttons are fading, you know, it's a 30 year old car. Um, paint's coming off some of the buttons. Um, Ash. It's unfortunately cracked, but that's something that's fixable. Not really worried about that. Um, still on stock wheels. This is the 87, so it was before the uh, facelift on the 89 pluses. Oh, and also the tail lights too. They reworked the body in 89. I want to get the 89 plus tail lights, but I'm not completely sure yet. Also, it has a spoiler and um, has a factory brake light on there that the 89s came with that I also liked, but a lot of people like the 87 style too. I actually don't, don't really mind it that much, but. Uh, so I'm moving on to the run of the hood here. You know, everything's, paint doesn't look horrible. I mean, for 30 years old and it is a 7MGE non-turbo. And these came in a few different cars, the Cressida, the Supra, um, the Mark II came with the 5E, or the 5M GE, this is the 7M, so dual overhead cam. And the um, story for this car is that it sat since December. So it was actually registered until January of this year. It sat since December, it is May right now, so a few months. And, um, he said he needed to replace the cam position sensor. It's somewhere under here. And um, from what I've seen, like what I've read in the forum, stuff like that, and uh, what I've been told is that the 86s and 87s came with the cam position sensor, but also I've been told that it might be inside the distributor. So um, as far as parts I ordered for this to get it back and running, I just uh, ordered the cap and rotor for the distributor. And just to start off cheap and see if that's just a problem or uh, if the sensors are in there. I don't really know until I open it up and see. But um, I mean, it's. He said the engine got rebuilt 100,000 miles ago, so a few years ago. It has 244. And um, looks like it's leaking um, pretty good. I'm not sure if there's a rear main seal or the head gasket or something. Or But. Um, when I did check the dipstick last, it was full. Um, surprisingly, only takes three quarts of oil. It's like three and a half quarts. And it's only taken 
10, 30, 20, 50, most of the heavier oils that they had back in the day. Uh, power steering looks like it's leaking as well. So something that we'll address and fix as time goes on. But for right now, I'm not really too big of a fan of this motor. I know it is reliable. I'll keep it this way for a little bit. But I have plans for it, you know. But first things first, you gotta get it running. So not really worried about it all that much. Um, hopefully it's not blown or anything. But the guy told me it was running recently and I believe him too. I mean, it was registered and everything and he was driving it. So nothing just seems to be weird with the transmission and anything like that. I uh, popped the gas, have to see if it actually works. I said on leaded fuel only, so I was curious about that too. Uh, this is some minor things like this, this is inside the vehicle. It's uh, it came off or something. I just got to put some new tape on there or something. Um, as far as you know, everything else. I mean, it's pretty much stock, man. I had, from what I can tell. Oh, underneath the car, underneath the car here. I'm not really sure if you guys can tell, um, but there's no muffler here. Um, oh, there's also just like no rust on the vehicle. I mean, there's some like this like aging but nothing nothing too crazy but under here the exhaust you see right there they cut it and it dumps right there it's gonna be some really bad drone once i start driving it and uh probably pretty loud but i'll change all this stuff most of the stuff in here i plan on changing this is definitely a long-term project but um since it is like majority full interior and not that bad condition. I'm gonna keep it this way for a little bit. Oh yeah, man. She's got potential, man. She has some potential. It's currently sitting at my grandma's house in the trailer. Um, I'm waiting for parts to come in and I'll get it towed back to the crib to start working on it. And then uh, get it washed up once I start running, once it starts running. But, uh, yeah, man, this is the new project. Yeah, definitely long term. I'm not gonna be dumping all my bread into this, but for right now, some of it, <laughs> just to get it running so I can enjoy the vehicle. And uh, you know, in between there, I plan on getting other cars too, so you guys can have some more content. But yeah, man, I mean, it's still, it's it's still kind of surreal, you know, how I got this car. Um, about two years ago. I was looking at one, it was 2J swapped. Um, it was pretty much like fully built and uh, pushing like 450. And uh, I really wanted that car. And so, I, I, unfortunately I wasn't able to get it, but you know how to see how things happen, you know, it's, it's crazy how things happen. But I finally got one and man, it's just, it's been a hunt. But like I said, I got a crazy good deal on this. Um, the guy that I got it from was moving. He's moving out of town, so he got it. He had to get rid of it by the end of the month. Threw him off, or he took it. Uh, he's a previous owner. He got it from was in uh, Bisbee, which is a town near me. So it's always been an Arizona car, which is a good thing to me. Um, well, as far as I know, at least. But even even from the visual looks, man, there's really no rust on. There's barely any rust. Um, there's only a small. Thing in the back by the gas tank but it looks like it's just like from the mount on the uh one of the wheel mounts or something i don't know it's some it's really really small nothing even to worry about really so i believe i gotta get to do i mean hopefully hopefully you guys can back me on that but i'm not even not even too worried about it right now everything looks good on it to me uh, everything checked out and it's only going up in value um i really was wasn't planning on getting a project this year but things like this come up and i really can't pass up on a good deal especially for a car like this where it's shooting in value right now and um once they are in good condition and stuff i can resell it for probably double triple the money that i actually put into it so it's it's very exciting very exciting so yeah man it's all right, so the original purpose of coming over here was to get the battery back in and see if it cranks. Um, I just wanted to get the battery from my dad. He got it recharged for me. 
uh, luckily. So we're gonna just crank it to see if it starts, and then uh, yeah, man. <laughs> so we go from there. Check the spark plugs next, and I have nothing, no parts in yet, so nothing major, but we'll see. All right, so wasn't doing all this before. Uh, sick. this one a little slow but it works Let's see if it cranks over these it cranks so yeah, it's not because I can spark everything's cranking though so that's a good sign um, mm, interesting I'll check spark plugs next uh, see what the issue is but uh, we'll see the guy had said that since the sensor is not working that it's not gonna spark which makes sense um, so after I change that out hopefully it'll start but Everything sounds like it's cranking real good. All the lights work, I'll see up there. Puppets work. Woo, them pop-ups, man. It's my first time seeing them. They're on. The blinkers are on. All them pop-ups, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> lights in the back. Now yeah, they're working. Okay. Oh, let's turn this off. <laughs> yeah. Pop ups, man. They both go down. That's sick. 